This clip is crazy. Enjoy it. Well, maybe don't enjoy it because it's not something that you should enjoy watching, but let me just play it. Make sure nobody ends. Hello? See? This video is going viral around the world. His five-year-old daughter is afraid to go to the public restroom and asks her father to see if anyone is inside. Make sure nobody ends. The father just wants to make sure that his daughter is not in any danger. Hello? Yo, come on, bro. When suddenly a man... Not the beats on. <laughs> ...corner apparently... Beats? ...women's restroom. <laughs> Morning. You know, it's the women's bathroom, right? Sorry, what? Noise, noise cancel. It's clear to him that it is oh, the what? women's it's bathroom. The women's? But now he panics and his father instinct kicks in. Why you gotta go in here with your kids? Make sure no, let me make sure nobody else ain't in here. Let me make sure. And now he is aware of the whole situation. Why you gotta go in here with your kids. Make sure no man in the damn bathroom. And goes out again, showing that the men's room is just on the opposite side. Still can't understand why the man seemed to be waiting in the women's bath. How creepy is this? Very creepy. He walked out like he wasn't doing anything wrong. What would you have done in my situation? Take care. <laughs> Maybe the guys was locked. Like, why would he be in there? That's crazy. That would be the only explanation. But it's like, what if the dad didn't go in there? Then it's like, that's the only reason why he came out is because he got exposed. Something I found so creepy. Obviously, she walks in there. How terrifying is it that he hears the voice and then... Hello? Oh! I was just washing my hands. Now all of a sudden he just, yeah. oh, time to dry. He wasn't even in the bathroom. Like <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Was he just waiting for any girl or woman? Yeah, he was hiding around the corner for he the sneak attack. Then he heard the dad, he's like, oh, shit, yeah, I'm washing my hands. So what happens if that little girl would've went in? What was he gonna That's do? It. What was he trying to do? All right, what, what do y'all do if you were in this exact scenario and this is your daughter? Sorry, well, I guess you'd almost wanna ask him a couple more questions as to what is he doing in there. That's all, I guess that's all you can like, do. Like, is he trying to say he identifies as a woman or? The smirk says it all. That dude's smile was not only creepy, but definitely suspect. I'd be in jail. I would've confronted him and said something, like asked him like, hey, what, what were you doing in there? Hey, brother. Were you aware that that's the woman's bathroom that you just stepped out of? She tells again, it's all you. It's <laughs> all oh my God. Like nothing's wrong. Tells little girl. Uh, it's all you. Morning. How are you guys doing? <laughs> nice day out here at the park. Like that's how he's acting though. Like that's oh, crazy. Shit. That face, man, that smile. That's the, you almost got me. So I just thought that was a bit terrifying. Cause there's people that don't even realize what they're doing. They just smile. Oh, so you can't even go to the bathroom smile alone away. now. As a girl, you can't go to the bathroom alone. The caption of this is, adult friendships aren't the easiest, nor the most genuine, but I'd rather have a few than be surrounded with mean girls or insecure bullies. No, because did y'all see that TikTok where that girl was like, how come the people with the nastiest, rudest attitudes have the biggest friend groups? And then the other girl stitched it and she was like, it's because they're all the same, all their morals are messed up. They all have the same ideas, values, whatever the case may be. And they all can sit and hang together like misery loves company type situation. Those people have the biggest friend. It's because they're all the same. If you're actually a nice person, you probably have less friends because you can't tolerate nonsense. You can't tolerate disrespect. You don't like disrespecting people. You won't stand for it when it happens to other people. But those people can 100% stand for it for each other because they're all the same. I want to talk about that. I be complaining to my man like, babe, I just want some friends. Like, I just want some genuine people like me. I want to hang around girls that love Jesus, that like, like entrepreneurship, that won't cheat on their spouses or their partners, that don't like want to down talk other women. I want those kind of friends. And the more and more mature I get, the more and more I realize that a lot of people cannot live up to those values because a lot of people would rather live their lives in misery. And it's really, really, really unfortunate. But the reality is, I think I'm too positive for some people. Like, I've been in friend groups before where girls will literally pull up girls on Instagram, especially where I'm from. I'm from Philly. This is what Philly girls do. This they thing. This they jam. It's like, it's like a mean girl culture here. They will literally sit on Instagram, 
pull up girls profiles send girls pictures and i've been in these groups so i know what they do i've had these conversations with girls before they'll pull up girls instagrams and talk about them look at her outfit she dating this drug dealer she messing with this person to get you kind of get the point mean people have more friends nice people can't find more nice people and i think she is talking specifically about women in her case like women friendships this is only my perspective but gossiping and shit talking on other girls i feel like that's something that a lot of girls do i don't think that that's like bad or mean women i know a lot of nice sweet girls and this bitch in my sorority that like, mm -hmm. like it's just something that like, girls do yeah i think like a healthy friendship at least in my opinion you know there's a good amount of shit talking on other people can you believe what this dumbass motherfucker did and then hanging out laughing mm -hmm. reminiscing whatever you know there's little sections to the friendship that make it good now if it's like all shit talk and the one friend only just wants to hate on people all day yeah we're just I, complaining but talking about nothing positive which that's what it seems that's like. what it seems like at that point i was thinking hmm well i don't have like that many friends necessarily but that's because maybe i'd agree where if someone let's say were to disrespect me or something i'm very just quick to be like ah, i don't want to see them ever again so it, it's left me with i only have a few people whereas if you're if you don't care as much then you'll have way more people but the quality of those friends just isn't as high mm, yeah I and see. i can't really stand being around people for very long that i don't really like because mm. being fake and <laughs> i'm tired i want to go home now yeah i can only do that for so long it's like a form of entertainment for girls i feel like like they almost want to hear the tea like they want to be involved like they get some sort of kick out of it and i've realized that like in personal experiences and i've seen that firsthand is like they almost like that they like watching the reality shows and like following Bad the drama club. and like keeping up with the drama i think it is a uniquely female experience and maybe the women watching this can even leave their comments below about what their experience is like when it comes to gossip and girlfriends or whatever but that is a thing i've mentioned this in other videos where i'll hang out with a girl and she's like and she did this to me and then she said this to me and i'm like what the heck and i'm like oh well, why don't you just stop hanging out with her why don't you just well, not be friends well it's just not that it's not that simple because I, we always see each other and stuff i'm like bro what like there's nobody i hang out with that i don't like yeah. I, you if i don't like them i just mm -hmm. don't see them ever again and that's it but girls there's something about it like you said they enjoy watching the bachelorette or what if shows do girls even watch american horror story and sh the like liar girl housewives and yeah things that get their emotions mm -hmm. Yeah. sort of involved that's what gets them excited very true i really feel this i've been struggling finding friends for the longest they're too attached to the world and the worldly values messy people always have a lot of friends genuine people keep their circle small i haven't had a genuine friendship since middle school I and mean, there's levels of friendships there's though this is my friend that i study with and then once we're no longer in class that's not my friend anymore it's my friend at work which is something that some people have no problem doing people who are okay with fakeness tend to be fake themselves so it's okay to just have a big fake ass group yeah. of fakies. How is it that everyone wants genuine friendships but no one can find them? Something's off. But then again, you might want a good friend, but that does that mean I'm a good friend? Correct. Maybe I'm insufferable and I'm like, where's all the genuine Everybody people? Everybody be blinded by their own flaws and their own bad habits that other people don't really mess with. That's why your level of friendship with most people are so, so surface level because maybe you have some things about yourself, but it's so easy to look outward than inward all the time. There's never gonna be like the perfect, oh, we're just, I mean, some people might feel that way where it's a perfect match we're just best buddies forever no one's ever going to be your perfect opposite like yeah it's my best buddy they never do anything wrong like everyone has their own idiosyncrasies that make them unique and whatever i'm curious to know people's experiences with their friends <laughs>